Everyone knows that preparing for the GMAT takes practice, a lot of practice. But there's more to getting ready for the GMAT than taking a ton of practice problems and running through a million practice tests. To do well on the test, you actually have to strengthen your general reading and reasoning skills. And there are a lot of things you can do, and do to improve those that have nothing to do with a practice book or a prep course. Here are a few strategies to improve those skills um, that you can do in everyday life, even when you're not burying yourself in the official guide. News sites are great for practicing both your CR and your RC skills. Articles in the Wall Street Journal or the Washington Post provide a great GMAT level reading challenge on their own, and the comments section is really useful for evaluating arguments. As you read over the comments about the latest market trends or economic policies, you'll start to see examples of good and bad arguments being made. Treat them all like GMAT excerpts. Ask yourself, what do these arguments rely on? And you'll get in the habit of evaluating assumptions on GMAT arguments. Reading skills are key on the GMAT, but instead of rereading the official guide for the ninth time, try reading uh, an opinionated work of nonfiction. Uh, in books like Thomas Friedman's The World is Flat or Stephen Levitt's Freakonomics, you'll find strong arguments with very clear tones that are actually really similar to the kinds of arguments you'll find in GMAT passages. Um, so when you read these books, think about the argument structure, how the author makes his or her points, and more importantly, the author's tone, because when you get to the GMAT, you'll have to do the same thing. To keep your reading GMAT-like, stick to topics like business, economics, and social science. Formal and informal debates are great ways to see CR-like arguments in action. Whether you watch political debates online or get into a heated discussion with your roommate about who's going to take out the garbage, uh, you'll see a lot of the argument techniques that you'll see on the GMAT. Even in real life, people do things like draw inferences, or refer to an analogous situation, or point out assumptions. And by engaging in even casual debates in real life, you can start to get ready for the kinds of arguments you'll see on test day, and it'll be easier to evaluate them in a passage. Attending a book group is a fun and relaxed way to get some reading and critical thinking practice done with your friends. Whatever book the group picks, approach it the way you would a GMAT RC passage. Ask yourself questions like, what is the tone? What is the author's perspective? And what are the roles of certain statements? When you start bouncing ideas off the other members of the group, you'll get new insights into how to approach passages in general, assuming, that is, that the book club members have read the book. You might do this one already. Whatever your interest, be it video games, gardening, or cracking the GMAT, you can find plenty of like-minded people online who are eager to have a discussion. Forums are great places to practice RC and CR skills, because you can find sample passages that people have posted, you can engage in discussions with people in the forum, just like you would in the CR section. And you can even post your own GMAT-like questions and see how people respond. So this suggestion and the other things we've discussed are really just meant to broaden your understanding of GMAT preparation. Whatever you do to practice, variety is key to get ready for test day. That way you don't burn out on practice questions. So have fun and happy studying.